capo. Hello everybody, this is Guiding Halo. I hope you're all doing well and I hope this message finds you happy and healthy. This is going to be your reading for October the 13th. Let's see what's happening. Daily hope. What's our daily hope? Ram, perseverance. You have many gifts. No problem can be can withstand the power of your mind. So you have many gifts and you have the power of mind in order to solve any problem that comes up comes your way. With patience you can reach your mountaintop. Never give up and good luck will follow. So perseverance, this is all about bringing the beauty you seek and having integrity for yourself. Drop the things that offend your soul. Embrace your truth. It's your life. Let no one live it for you. Look at that. Remember your thoughts. Shape your future. Your words create today your choices become your reality. Wow, this is all about persevering through your integrity to create the absolute beauty that you seek in your life. Wow, it's so beautiful. I just think that's so beautiful. Absolutely. You have many gifts, huh? No problem can withstand the power of your mind. There's been a temporary hold a temporary pause going on in your life and it's been creating what you feel is a lack of clarity on how to create and so your thoughts very possibly are in the poor house <laughs> as far as I just heard someone say I am in the poor house period so I heard heard that anyway so the divine's asking you to cut out the BS where that's concerned have integrity stand in the truth cut things out of your life that offend your soul cut them out just stand there with fairness and justice and balance and cut things out that offend your soul embrace the truth it's your life let no one live it for you so what other people say what other people think of how you want to move forward or what you're doing perhaps they think you should change this you should change that blah 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 look at that we have the energy of the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, your Divine Masculine coming into true form with your Divine Feminine here. All upon this place of knowledge and wisdom. Wow, hey, you have many gifts. No problem can withstand your mind, I'd say so. Your patience can, you, I'm sorry, with patience you can reach your mountaintop. Never give up. And good luck will follow. Yeah, there's strength. It's going to take strength to persevere. It's going to take strength to drop the things out of your life that no longer serve you. It's going to take strength to honor your soul instead of honoring everything else. Embrace your truth, whatever that truth is. It's your life. Let no one live it for you. And then we have creation. So in our feminine side, we're sitting here cutting out the BS, dropping what offends our soul. And in our masculine side, we're trying to tame our thoughts. We're trying to tame the wisdom, tame the things going up in our ego mind or whatever mind to shape our future. Because we realize our words create today and our choices become our reality. There's that tower moment, hey? You must be strong. You must have hope. You must have faith. Perseverance. What's this tower moment about? What's this tower moment going to bring us? What is it? Holding on tight. This tower moment comes because you're holding on tight and you're not dropping things that offend your soul. And it causes inner conflict of heart, of mind, of will, of everything. It's your life. Don't let anyone live it for you. Absolutely feeling very guarded about moving forward, feeling very guarded about who to trust. The divine's telling you here, do not give up. Please, you must persevere. We understand there's been tower moments. We understand there's more going to come. But when you drop what offends your soul, that is when your choice becomes reality. So if you drop what's offending your soul, then you tell the divine that I want no more of what offends my soul. Whereas if you stay in it, the divine will bring you. It's the law of attraction. 
I can't even say it's the divine. It's the law of attraction. It's like the energy that you put out there is what comes your way regardless. Look at that. Look at that, what you are trying. What? Look what... Uh, look what having the balance and doing the work and the perseverance brings you, my friends. The Ten of Pentacles. Look at that. Do not give up. Ten of Pentacles coming your way. We are heading into Scorpio season, which is the season of absolute transformation. And that's what this tower is here to do. Asking you to, to understand that you can use your mind to withstand any problem. You have many gifts it's not just about spirituality and teaching and all those sorts of things. You have many, many gifts and you can sort out whatever problems comes your way. And it'll be the end of that cycle. Absolutely. Embrace your truth. It's your life. Let no one live it for you. This is so beautiful. I hope this is a, encourages somebody out there because I'm telling you, if this is what's coming for you, due to your perseverance and you finding balance between the masculine and feminine side within you, all upon your wisdom, your knowledge, the things that you have come into this life to learn, to grow with, to understand. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. I understand you're holding on to things that have passed. I understand you're conflicted. But the divine is saying, please persevere. Do not give up. Because I am telling you what it is if you drop what offends your soul, this is what's coming for you. And you must persevere to get there because nothing happens instantaneously. Blessings to you. I hope it resonates.